before I got to Europe, I had never seen an aeroplane in real life. High above, they twisted and turned like flocks of birds dancing. There was a romance surrounding pilots, these new swashbucklers of the skies. But the reality was, most of these brave young men would eventually end up back on the ground in twisted smoking wrecks. I have nothing left to bet, you idiot. The plane. <laughs> That's rich. <laughs> oh, why the hell not? I've got you beaten anyway. Oh, yeah. What have you got? Hmm? <laughs> Wipe your mouth, Blackburn. That wasn't supposed to happen. But you know, I'll be taking that plane anyway. What the bloody hell? You lost! I beat you! Mm. The thing is, Rackham, it's a very beautiful aeroplane and you're kind of a jackass. I beat you fair and square, goddammit! Stay the hell away from my kind! Oh. oh, you bastard! You can't do this to me! I beat you! I beat you! My name's Clyde Blackburn. I'm a pilot and a gambler. I'm George Rackham! I'm George Bloody Rackham! Listen to me! You bastard! Keep off my aeroplane! If you asked me to name my biggest fault, I'd have to tell you. I'm just not a very honest person. Welcome aboard! I'm Wilson, by the way. You must be George Rackham! Sure, I'm Rackham. I'm your guy. Let's get this kite up in the air. You're George Rackham, son of the 4th Earl of Windsor. That's right. Hip, hip, go, Dean. The Bristol was everything it was advertised to be, a pure joy to fly. It was a crisp, sunny day, and everything would have been perfect had I only been alone. Let's see how she handles in a gunfight. Go 
guns are on safe, just in case you get some fancy ideas. You're starting to get me. How sweet. Come and get it! 
hell with base. <laughs> we accidentally discovered where Germans were keeping their munitions for half the Western Front. And Wilson's pictures would help HQ launch a major assault. There was just one problem. I'm not sure about this. Oh, come on. We did a great thing. We'll get medals for this. We weren't even supposed to be there. When the commander sees these pictures, he won't care. We did a great thing. We can do it again. I'll make you a deal. If we pile up on this, then you need to promise me that you'll get me back in one piece. Sure thing. Promise. I need your word. Okay, I promise. Stay here. And don't cause any trouble. You know, I did like the guy. But he was kind of naive. Sir, you might want to take a look at these. Saints alive, your man must be one, one hell of a pile. Before we knew it, we were back in the air. Our mission? To clear the way for the bombers so they could blow that fortress all to hell. First, we'd have to down the barrage blips. Jesus, imagine being a lookout on a blimp. I'd love for it. Next? The assault was already in full swing when we got there. We'd have to deal with all the defenses, then export our bombers to their target when they arrived. Tall order. But victory here could change the course of the whole damn war, they said. Safe to say, Wilson is less than thrilled. Now we're actually doing this in field. Really dangerous! Trust me! And buck yourself in, maybe.
position below! I see them! Let's put them out of action! Quickly!
bitch.
The bird was busted. She buried her nose in no man's land a half mile due west of where I went down. Wilson, the poor sap, didn't make it out. But that was his bad luck. I had more pressing problems. I'm just gonna say I've had plenty of practice moving quietly. Out the back of bars, bedroom windows, you don't need the details. Anyway, once those Germans were gone, I put my skills to work, heading west towards the British front, quiet as an alley cat. Between me and the British front were German trenches and German guns. Oh, and half the population of Berlin. day. The Brits must have been sitting down for tea and crumpets instead of shelling the Germans. Still, I had to get through to our side of the line before those guns started up again. Those trenches were packed full of the Kaiser's finest, but hopefully, most of them would be looking for trouble coming the other way. Hopefully.
machine guns at my back kind of encourage me to keep my head down. No man's land is a maze of barbed wire, dead bodies, and debris. And I have my course. Did anything survive the crash that might be useful? Am I? Son of the fourth bloody Earl of Windsor. <laughs> I'm not even you think I am. Oh. Uh. Let's get out of here. Wilson said I was a no good, lying son of a bitch. I brought him home because I think he's probably right. And I hate that fact more than I can tell you.
Off to the farm, are you? I'm gonna speak up for you, you know, at the court martial. It might do you some I doubt good, it, but thanks. Wilson, with me. I need a gunner. Over here. I'll, I'll do it. Rackham, let me help. You don't deserve to fly. Wilson, if I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die up there. Come on, let's do this. You sure you don't want to sit this one out? Not a chance. You owe me a bloody medal. All right, I got this. Are you with me? Of course I'm bloody with you.
wanted a pedal, didn't you?
my story. A selfish man who risked his own life to save another, and in doing so, found he was saved himself. Things get mixed up in wartime, though, and you'll probably hear other versions. A rogue pilot who stole a plane, who killed his buddy, then lied, cheated, and murdered his way across half the Western Front, only to escape court-martial in the chaos of an air raid. But don't listen to any of that. What you heard from me is the truth. I wouldn't tell you if it wasn't. Would I?